Hey guys, it's Jason here, and we're back. Today we're doing uh, how to play... We already did how to build a uh, payload map. Now I'm going to tell you how to play payload. Seeing as though I think I should do this little tutorial, uh, because no one's probably ever heard of this, uh, as far as Minecraft players go. Uh, seeing as though this is an original map inspired by a TF2 map, uh, made by, well, me. Hi. I'm me. Anyways, so this is Minecraft Payload. Uh, what you want to do as the attacking team, you gotta know first of all you gotta know the rules. Them rules be ruling you. First of all, you are only allowed to take items from your chest and food from villagers. You're not allowed to raid blacksmiths. You will use this all this stuff. It's, it's all good stuff. You may move beds, um, but not the one you slept in because if you move that and you die, you will be spawned in a random ass place. Um, probably where you're not supposed to be. Dull. Anyway, second rule, and this is the most important thing. The bomb stays on the cart, on, the bomb cart stays on the tracks at all time. I broke, I broke the rail. Noob. That's okay, I'm probably not gonna exit, so. Anyways, so. Uh, as I was saying, yes. Uh, yes, as I was saying. So you gotta know the rules. Bomb cart stays on the track at all times. If it blows up, what you will have to replace it uh, where it was. No picking up the car and running with it. That is cheating. Anyways, so one of the things you should take note of is just on this one bomb car, one car with TNT. There we go. Is you don't have to push it like this, like they do in TF2. You can actually run with it, and it will go at whatever speed you're at. Uh, so if you want to preserve hunger, you can just do normal running. You can do walking. You can actually do running and jumping. You might have to push it a little bit up the hills. But apart from that, it's all good. Now, it's very important to try and keep up with the bomb cart. But also, try not to make it explode, because you only have limited bomb carts. If you explode all the bomb carts, the defending team will win. Uh, or if you don't get the thing uh, into the like TNT pit in a certain amount of time, you can if, if you play this with your friends, you can agree the time limit. Depending on the skill of both teams, uh, let's just uh, let's just push this here. And uh, now we we gotta be careful because especially in this part of one of my um, of my map, uh, you you have to be very careful with the turns. Turning is quite tricky, and if you power up the turn too much, the TNT will uh, proceed to explode. And obviously that's not preferable, especially if you're on survival mode. Well, you're gonna be on survival mode. It's PvP. Uh, let's just, yep, there we go, there we go, uh, so rule, another rule is when you get to a checkpoint, you have to push the bomb cart the entire way through the town before you get, uh, you, before you can loot the town for other, uh, TNT carts, uh, as well as, um, as well as, uh, you know, food and stuff like that, uh, and how do you know when you're all the way through the town? Well, when you do this, uh, when you go through over like the actuator rail, it sets off a little explosion and the giant crater where that egg used to be, that signifies that your bomb cart was there. And it has gone past, you can put your beds in that town, you can raid that town for TNT carts, not for weapons, you can also raid it for food if you want. Uh, another fascinating feature of the attacking team is you can actually change around the rails. For example, oh no, the uh, defending team have got this place basically camped, we can't push the cart through there, but we can do this, we can sneak around the back door. Uh, some routes will be more dangerous than others, so it's about strategic planning with the attacking team. Risks usually outweigh the rewards, but you've got to be careful, because your teammates may, take, may pay the price for your mistakes, so team captains, be especially wary of that. Also, again, it's going to be quite pressuring with the defending team attacking you whilst you're trying to push the cart. So knock back sticks, always at the ready. Uh, don't be too trigger happy with those grenade grenades like those poison uh, poison splash potions because if you pull them like too much, like if you like, if you like, accidentally throw them out of panic and confusion, you may up splashing yourself or just wasting a potion. And you do not want to do that in PvP. Trust me, you don't. 
So there's a town. Another bomb. And now she goes. Um, let's just take this. Bop, you're gone. Okay. Um, what else is there to tell? Well, there's not much else. Um, one of the things you got to remember is keep pushing. No matter what, keep pushing. Always remember to keep your eye on the time. Uh, and be honest, if you've gone over the time limit, tell the other players. Uh, final push is always the hardest. So, farm co TNT dump, you're screwed. It's always the hardest to get, it's the trickiest to maneuver the cart round. So let's just push this up here, like this. I should hopefully go through the hole. Sometimes it doesn't go. But what you're gonna do? If you're making a TNT, if you're making a payload map, you may want to consider uh, making the hole a bit bigger than the one I put here. Ah, oh, there we go. Beautiful. Once you push the uh, TNT in, uh, into the uh, hole, you win. You win, basically. You win. You win, winner. Ow, oh, the sun's gra- Oh, I thought I was going to destroy this building. I can never get this building to get destroyed. The uh, strip club. I will never destroy the strip club. Oh well. So that was how to play a, a offensive on a, P, a PvP map known as um, Payload. Uh, it's a custom map made by me. But anyways, that's how to play. Uh, if you want to watch how to build a P, uh, Payload PvP map, you can watch my other video. It's on my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.